Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Patrick Griffiths. I'm the business librarian here at UNLV Libraries. Um, I've been doing this workshop for a while, often in conjunction with our UNLV's Office of Sponsored Programs, which is an office that helps grant seekers to obtain and manage grants on campus. So what my goal is today is to show you resources that we have through the Office of Sponsored Programs and through the UNLV Libraries that can help you to identify external funding opportunities. Most of the time that will be grants, but it could also be fellowships, postdoctoral opportunities, and so forth. And so there's gonna be two platforms I'm gonna show. One is the uh, Office of Sponsored Programs website. The other is a guide that we maintain at the UNLV Libraries. So right now, uh, the homepage that we're on is our University Libraries. Um, what you can do though is if you click on UNLV here, what, what happens is you go to the university website. So what we want from the university website is the category, if you go over on the top to research and you click that. And then there's all sorts of um, information but there's scroll down. So I'm going to do this under faculty research because that's uh, the most direct way to get to the Office of Sponsor Programs. You could probably get there also through graduate research, maybe undergraduate research, but I'm going to click on this, this link under faculty researchers. And scrolling down a little bit, these are research offices on campus. There's various ones, economic development. What, I'm interest, what we're interested in is the UNLV Office of Sponsored Programs. And in some cases, it might be easier just to Google UNLV Office of Sponsored Programs, and you should get directly here. So um, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. On this page here, they have different categories for obtaining and managing research grants. So this um, step one, the locate funding, that's what we're gonna concentrate on for this workshop today, is locating funding opportunities. So you can click on that category and they have websites, they have things like major funding websites that they have a list of. They have internal funding resources and funding for early career faculty, maybe first time grant seekers. Um, what I do wanna mention though is this Grant Resource Center is a major program that universities are affiliated to, and this Resource Center has an online database that you can search for grant opportunities. So the Grant Resource Center, so because we are affiliated with the Grants Resource Center, we have access to their Grant Search database. And so there's a link to that, it says Grant Search, and you can access that from any computer on campus. So if you click there, you should be able to get to this point. Does anybody um, want me to go through those steps again? Okay, so I will show you how you can request access to this for off campus, but for now I'm gonna show you what it does. Um, so grant search, Basically, you could, I'll go all the way down that, there's a search in there, but it's all the way at the bottom. You could search by keywords. So that's one way to use it. Another way is through browsing. So th these are common elements of a grant searching database like this or resource, is usually you have to choose an academic category and it goes from broad to narrow. So for instance, I could look under, life science and health. And then there's even more specific categories. So for instance, I could look at maybe even biological sciences. So what, once you get down here, you can select categories and then you have to click on add and that adds that category. And I can actually add multiple, multiple categories. So So I'm gonna go ahead and then 
An, an, another common element is the, the research activity you're seeking funding for. So typically it's a research, it'll be down here, it'll say research project support. That's typically the most common thing for grants. Small grant seed money is, those are, those are startup grants. And oftentimes for early grant seekers, getting these smaller grants can be instrumentally helpful in getting larger grants. But so I've added these two. And then there's also other things like, um, you know, fellowships, as I mentioned. So there's different categories that you can get funding for. And also another way to do it, in addition to this, is sponsoring organizations. Although you could just do that directly and not do the other things. Like I could look, if I knew of a funding source, um, maybe the National Science Foundation, American Chemical Society, I could just add that and not add all the rest. So there's different ways to go about that. And then you can choose deadlines, although I'm gonna keep that open. So then I'm now, I'm gonna search this and you'll get results back. Um, so as an example, this is just an example, but if I click on one of these, it tells you the agency, the sponsor, and the description, and it will usually give you a link to a website, although I have to copy and paste this because it's not like hyperlinked, but, and then usually some contact information. And then you can actually print this out. So that's um, one thing I want to mention is this oftentimes, this GRC Grant Resource Center number, that can be important um, maybe when you're dealing with, say, our Office of Sponsored Programs. Um, you might be asked for that number, um, maybe not. So this is an example. So you can search this, as I mentioned. You can go back, you know, to your results. You can, you can go back to your results or do a new search. So if you click on back, you'll go back to your results. So this is, um, what I would highly recommend, and I'm gonna mention that, um, so I mentioned this, I'm gonna go back to, the, if you go back to the Office of Sponsored Programs, um, I'll go back to that, I'll show that, just to show how to get there again. Let me just, um, I'm just gonna type in UNLV OSP in this case, and you can go under Locate Funding, and it's Grant Resource Center. And then there's that link to the grant search, but to the bottom, for off-campus access, you can request a login and a password through this little button here. So there's some information to request a login and a password for access to this off of campus. Otherwise, you can access this through any computer on, on our campus. Um, any questions about this resource? Okay, this is um, very powerful. I, I highly recommend it. So I'm going to go back. Just you can actually go back to Office of Sponsored Programs um, and this locate funding again. In addition, you wouldn't have to find this on their website, but they have a link to grants.gov, which that's a government website. So you could just find that by typing grants.gov or doing a Google search. So it's a very similar resource, um, but we don't, it's not something we subscribe to because it doesn't require that. But with grants.gov, you could actually just go to this category or you can search by keywords, but you can go to search grants. And you can search by keywords. And um, so one thing is you could actually, if you just wanted grants only, you could select that. You don't have to. And then eligibility, you can select that. Um, typically, as we mentioned, there's always uh, categories. So I'm gonna look at education. Well, it actually tells you. So if I was looking at energy, they have 12 grants. 
In education, they have 553. I'm just gonna click on education. You could select it, um, agencies as well, and it tells you how many there are. So if I wanted just Department of Education, I could limit that down further. And then these are grant opportunities. And then you'll have this information that, you know, eligibility criteria, how to apply, and who you would need to contact. And you can either go to, you can go to apply, and there's a link. But with this one, you have to set up an account, which is free to do. Oftentimes with these resources, you'll run into this where you have to set up an account for these added features like apply or save. It's free to do though. You can register as a new user. So you can see that grants.gov is similar to the grant search or grant seeker database that we used. That's another resource that you can use. Um, so those are the resources I wanted to show on the Office of Sponsored Programs website for right now. Um, primarily what I would recommend is a Grant Resource Center Grant Seeker database. So in addition to what the Office of Sponsored Programs offers, the UNLV Libraries offers a few resources that we as the library subscribe to, which I feel are complementary to the resources we just went over. Um, actually, if you click on your home icon or open a browser, or, or you'll, you should be able to get to the UNLV library, or it's just library.unlv.edu, or you can Google UNLV library and, and get there. Um, there's also a link on our UNLV site, but on our, on our library website here, we actually maintain an online guide for grants. The way that you would access this is uh, under, on the right, it says research by subject. These are subject guides of resources that we have and, and free resources. So research by subject, if you select that, if you just click down the first one to all guides, it will give you all of our guides. You could type in grant under search words, but it's actually listed, if you scroll down, it says alphabetized. And so there's grants. So we have scholarships and funding for students, but above that, we have grants, funding, and grants writing. All right, so, and then you can go to locate funding, but I'm gonna show that one more time. Um, there's a couple of steps. So under our, our website, under research by subject, you can select all guides and then either type in grants or scroll down to the G area under grants. So grant, funding and grant writing. We do have a category for locate funding, like this little one on the menu. So the first one resource we list is the one we already looked at, the Office of Sponsored Programs Grant Resources Center Grant Search Database. So there's a link to that that we already looked at. So I won't go over that again, but Grant Forward is a database that's similar to that that we as the library subscribe to, which is complimentary. And Grant Forward, you have access to anywhere on campus, and you have access to it off campus with your UNLV computer ACE account, username and password. If you don't have that or you need help with that, you can go to ace.unlv.edu and uh, get help with that. But you, you should have a computer lab uh, username and password Accessing this off campus, you just need to enter that in and you'll have access to this anywhere. So Grant Forward, you can type in keywords. Um, you know, they do, so you can go to grants here. So you can click on that. If you click on the search, I didn't type in any keywords. What happens is it gives you to a menu that has some of these similar things like categories. For instance, if I expand this, I can type in a category or I can click on list and they have these broad to narrow categories. So I can actually look at this one, energy. There's subcategories too. You don't have to select them, but you can. So I could actually deselect or select 
any of these that I wish. So you can select a broad category or a narrow category. And I'm, if you click add, um, it's giving me a, an error message here that it shouldn't be giving us for this database. Let me Well, um, my apologies, we'll fix that. It, it works uh, the same way that Grant Search does. It has categories, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna show examples, but I'll just show the, the way that you would use this. Well, actually now it's working, so live television folks, live theater, okay. So there are categories and there are also grant types which again you can select things like research project and then there's also postdoctoral opportunities fellowships scholarships you can select multiple and then applicant types early career investigator if you know graduate which whichever and then you can actually narrow down to academic institutions so that you don't get some of the stuff that's for nonprofits and so forth. So there's a lot that you can do in this that is very similar and you will get to um, grant opportunities that you can look at and you can export. But to export, what you would need is a username and password, which you can actually go ahead to sign up or log in and then you, you can set, set up a username and password to export. You don't have to do that. You can print it out. Um, that's just an ad, a, a value added feature. Um, questions about this resource? This one actually, if you do sign up for an account, um, you could actually go to here. You could go to save searches and also recommendations. So recommendations, once you set up an account, you can pre create a researcher profile and they will, they will actually send you recommendations based on the profile that you create. I, I think that's something that's different and interesting about this resource. So Grant Forward, um, may, that's something, this one that we subscribe to. So I think between Grant Search and Grant Forward, Grant Search being from the university, Grant Forward being from the libraries, that covers the majority of it. But we also, because UNLV, we have a foundation center. And so foundations, you know, grants can come from the government. So they can come from the, the federal government. They can also come from private organizations that set up charitable organizations that administer grants. Now, the way to get access to those most directly is through a directory from a foundation directory. And since we are, we have a, a foundation center here. We have access to the foundation directory online resource for free. That, that is a directory of organizations that provide grants, like, you know, individual organizations. So foundation directory online, this is what they call private grants. You can actually just type in keywords, but you can actually go to advanced search and filters and very similarly, you can go to a subject area that you can start with that and then you can add on more filters like, you know, um, the type of grants and stuff like that. Geographic focus though, some of these organizations have a limit to the geographical area they support. So maybe they only support grants in Nevada or Las Vegas. You don't have to do that, but you can do that. So for it, so to start subject area, there's broad, broad categories. Um, I can select health and I can expand and add categories. If you wanted to, you can actually limit by geography if you would like. So I'm gonna do that just as an example because that's a little different. And then there are additional filters as well. So that's the type of uh, support offered. This is similar to what we saw before. Um, these are different. These are different type of things they, they support. Maybe you want research and evaluation, you know, general support, 
capital and infrastructure. So, and there's also a keyword search. And so what happens when you search this is this is, it'll show you, these are grant makers and these are grants. Now most people, and me included, to find grant opportunities, I would click on grants, saying these are grants that are coming up. But what that actually is in this case are grants that have been awarded. So you can see uh, um, grants that have been awarded in this area. That gives you an idea of funding organizations that you might want to look at. But if you wanted to just look at the um, funding opportunity side, rather than grants, I would look at the grant makers because that will get you to these organizations that offer these grants. So they give me like a few, I can click on view all and, and then you can exclude grant manners not accepting applications. So these are foundations oftentimes. This is as Nevada Community Foundation, the Nevada Energy. So these different ones, it tells you some information about what they, what they fund, the size of the grants. And then what you want to look at are grants and the funding interests. And then this kind of gives you an idea of what, what kind of things do they fund and categories and subjects. Um, if you look at their financial statement under financials, you oftentimes can see what grants they've funded, but then you can go to communications to see who you would contact. So this is foundation directory is a good way to find grant funding from private organizations. And there's other funders to consider. So you can, there's a lot of information that you can get out of this. So this is if you're looking for um, money from private organizations, as opposed to the federal go from government sources. Um, questions about this fund, this foundation directory? So many of these have very similar features. This is a resource you also have access to off campus. Um, you might have to enter in your ACE account username and password for that. So those are the major sources for, I mean, you can either go to our library guide and, and use our link to the grant search database through the Office of Sponsored Programs. You can also click access Grant Forward in the Foundation Directory online. Um, and there's also in our, on our site a link to grants.gov, although you can go to that through just a Google search. Um, the Office of, so there's also under the locate funding, um, before I continue though, are there questions about any of these resources we've gone over? Under locate funding, there's a link for help for grant writers. So there's a link to the Foundation Center for Private Money. Office of Sponsored Programs, which we've looked at, and I'll, I'll, I'll circle back to that. So I'm going to go to the Office of Sponsored Programs here. When I, I click Control, well, let's see if it, okay. So it, it'll, it'll, it'll click to the Office of Sponsored Programs there. You can actually go under, instead of locate funding, if you go under proposal, like, okay, now you've identified opportunities. What are some of the next steps of preparing research grant proposals? What I want to mention is, you know, we mentioned that get that grant group, but there are, you know, if you go to writing and editing, there's some information there. For instance, um, some of these grants, they might require an agency offering a grant might require what's called a data management plan because it's a kind of a mandated thing that they want data to be reusable and shareable and open. So if you run into that, that a proposal requires a data management plan, um, there are common elements to that. So there's some assistance with, for instance, the National Science Foundation requires that. But there is an example with sample language of a data management plan. So just kind of what it looks like and so forth. And then, you know, that's one thing. There's also like elements of a proposal. So they have a lot of stuff about, a lot of help about this. Um, 
so just going back, Office of Sponsored Programs again, under proposal, there's, you know, pre-award, do you have a common element of a proposal? The information you would need from the institution for a proposal. So this is this, these are the tools you could use for actually when you're developing a proposal. So the common elements, so forth. And then there's also under other resources, every college, there's guidance on data management plans. And then individual colleges. So I want to mention they have help for pre-award means services is anything before you're awarded a grant or funding. Post award is everything after that, you know. So these are contacts for for in different units on campus, colleges, units, departments that are there to help. So there's all sorts of help with this um, office of sponsored programs. They have training, so there that's very helpful. And then what I want to mention too is that if, if data management planning is is part of the proposal process, they have a lot of templates, but we as the libraries, um, under, under our grant funding and grant writing, we have a link, it's this UNLV data management resources. This is a, a similarly a guide that is helpful for, if you have to do any data planning as part of the grant, this is kind of a helpful how-to guide, you know, funding guidelines for data management, by different agencies. These are the data requirements for different agencies like the Department of Energy. I mean, if you don't run into this, then you don't have to really worry about it. But if you do, this is some helpful information, such as under writing a data management plan, there, there's some information, uh, best practices for this. And I wanna mention that um, there's this thing, it's called data management planning tool. This is an online resource that actually, you can actually get to through Google. It's just dnptool.org slash plans. Um, I'm gonna log out, I was logged in earlier. Let me log out of that. That's, so what'll happen is, I'm actually just gonna go to just DMP tool. So this is what you'll see and there's all sorts of information, but you can go to get started. This is a tool that helps you to create these plans. And option one, if we are institutions affiliated with this program, we are. So you can actually select under your institution. So I'm gonna type in university. Okay. of Nevada, and then it should, okay, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I can select go. And then this is, I mentioned the ACE account, the computer lab username and password. So that's something that it requires since it's affiliated with our institution. I'm logged in. What you would do from here is go to create plan or here create plan. So what happens with this is you can give it a name. I'm just gonna say test three, just to give it a name. Here's the research organization, UNLV. But this is where it really is helpful, is that you can select the funding organization so that it will give you templates based on that. So um, I'm gonna do this one, National Science Foundation, or National, how about National Institutes of Health? I will do that one. And then they have templates this is specific and oftentimes I'll have a generic one. So I'm just gonna go to this one. So you type in the funding organization and then there's a, um, I have a generic template. So what this does is it's like a tool that allows you to put this information in and export it. You don't have to use this. It can be, um, it can be helpful. So plan overview, under right plan though, Usually what they'll have is, um, depending on the organization, they, they will might have like categories or headings that you can enter information in. It might be, you know, more, it might be easier just to get a template from a funding organization, like the National Institute of Health, 
to see what it looks like, like an example. And UNLV is supposed to be sharing these with this tool and also the Office of Sponsored Programs. But there are templates on the Office of Sponsored Programs website as well. Um, under the Writing and Editing Data Management Plan, they have templates by agency. So this is just a tool. And I don't want to focus too much on this because this comes at the proposal and you might not have to do this, so I don't want to. But if you run into it, there's, there's tools and assistance. But mainly um, what this workshop is about is finding funding opportunities. So just to kind of reiterate, you can actually find under our libraries, if you go to research by subject, you can go to all guides and then you can find under grants, this grant funding and grant writing. And then from here, you can go to locate funding and then you can go to the grant search database. You can use the grant forward database um, and then also the foundation directory online. Um, these are resources that, and then other, other helpful resources, as well as the health help for grant writers you can link to the Office of Sponsor Programs here and our guide on data management if, if necessary. So yeah, again, the Office of Sponsor Programs, they have under locate funding, you know, they have opportunity newsletter archives, a link to their grant resource center, their database. They have links for NC opportunities and then major funding websites so these are the websites for these major funders, like the Department of Energy. And then you can get some information about the funding agencies. They have also funding for early career faculty. And they, I believe you can request a customized funding search from the Office of Sponsored Programs. Um, and they have, a news, they have a funding opportunity newsletter as well. And you can go through the archives of that. So there's a lot of help offered to the Office of Sponsored Programs. So mainly though, I would recommend their Grant Resource Center, this grant search database, using this, um, using our Grant Forward database through our online guide and the foundation directory if you're looking for money from private organizations. So those are the top things. So there's, there's help available through the Office of Sponsored Programs. I'm also available to help with, um, you know, trying to find using these resources. Um, so how you can get help through the libraries, I'm actually just, if you're on the library website at any point, on our site, there's a questions ask us feature. And you can ask, you can either schedule a research consultation or you can find your librarian. So we have in our, in our library, we call them um, liaison librarians. They're liaison librarians to various colleges, schools, and departments from UNLV. So you can find your, you know, so for education, there's a librarian. Um, they may be able to help as well. They, if you contact them, you can ask. Um, I'm also, I'm actually under business here. There I am. And then you can email me or schedule an appointment. And that's a research consultation. This is an individual consultation in a room close by to the right. Actually, if you go out, it would be towards the left. It's under glass. Um, it's a consultation area for groups or individuals on research projects and, you know, helping with resources research resources and strategies. So there's help available, um, but I wanted to ask the, the, out of the, you know, the resources we showed today, are there any questions about accessing these resources or using them? No. Uh, any questions about funding grants in general? Okay, well, um, I went a little sh shorter than I expected, but there's. So if folks want to stay and, and use these resources, look for help, you can circulate and um, mm -hmm. you know, 
give you pointers. Yeah. 